Hi everyone and welcome to part 16, I think, of the Bank of Mum and Dad challenge. I think it's 16, if it's not, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I'm recording a bit earlier today and usually I record quite late at night, like 10, 10 11 o'clock at night after my day. Um, but today I'm filming early because I'm going out for drinks tonight, so I don't think I'll be in a fit state to be recording. It might be a laugh. <laughs> I don't know what I'd end up doing. Um, yeah, I've had a really crappy day. Um, so I thought I'd come back and play a bit of Sims and cheer myself up. Um, so Verity's the only one home at the moment and she's just having to, something to eat. I found Maid come soon, tidies up. So just whiz through this and then I think we're going to have a Friday night off from money making and collecting. So I'm going to make sure everybody's happy and then we're going to go out. And I think Verity's going to join us. Um, we're going to take the whole family out and we're going to invite Ricky along and probably Corey. So I'm going to get Verity to eat, pee and sleep uh, so that she's ready for the night and then the others when they get home from work I'll sort them out and then we're going to hit a club. The youngsters are just like fed up, they've worked hard, well <laughs> they believe they worked hard, they haven't really but in their opinion they've, they've worked hard their first week um, their first week in the big wide world and um, so they're giving themselves the night off. Eva's work is being critiqued for the first time and the response is especially harsh, uh oh. Should she get defensive and try to explain her thought process or quietly take notes and try to do better in the future? I think Eva would definitely defend her art. Ooh. Gosh, that was loud. <laughs> Eva's intelligent defence of her work impresses classmates and the teacher. The critic hadn't considered that perspective. Performance game medium. Brilliant. Good on you, Eva. Hopefully she gets promoted and then that's a cause for celebration. I think that's the dishwasher making all that noise. I don't know. I don't think she's going to get promoted, sadly. Austin, he's doing really well. He's going to socialise with his co-workers and Eva's going to socialize with her co-workers and we're gonna make <gasps> Ooh. so Eva brought home 184 simoleons and she did some superb work and earned a vacation day Austin brought 136 and earned a vacation day and I think Jake's gonna get promoted so that's awesome good on you guys so definitely cause for celebration tonight so Eva what does she need she needs to have a shower I'm gonna get her to have a quick um, bite to eat. She's not that hungry but I just want to fill her up so she's gonna have some oatmeal and go to the toilet. Oh no she doesn't need that, she needs to shower. What is oatmeal? Is it like, is it like porridge? That's what I imagine it to be but I don't know so let me know. Is it nice? Should I try it? I don't know if we have it here in the UK but I'm sure we do. I'm sure we do. I've just never heard of it. I imagine it's like porridge because it's oat. Porridge is oats, so. God, Verity's really tired. This is dire. No, you need to. She might have to join us later. We might have to send Austin and um, Eva out and then um, she can join us when she's had a bit of a sleep. So what's going on in the house? Has the gardener been? Looks like they have. Oh, maybe not because it's a bit dry. I hear music, where's that coming from? Rarity's going to bed. Austin's eating. Where's that music coming from? I didn't think we had a stereo around here. Oh, I can't make it out. Where is this mystery music coming from? We have a stereo here. Is it the TV? No. It's definitely around here somewhere. Oh, this is really weird. We must have a wall speaker. Ah, there we go. We have a wall speaker. Well, that's fine. It's nice to know. 
Oh, and Jake got promoted. Jake has been promoted to quality assurance. He will now make an additional seven smellions per hour for a grand total of 38. He has also received a stainless steel auto pot and 375 bonus. Oh, I'm so proud of him. So is that in our family inventory or his inventory? I suspect it's in our family inventory. So we're going to sell that. We don't need that. What's this? Master Chef Pot Rack. Who got that? Sell that. Oh yeah, we got our bills to remember about, so it's a lot of money. So let's get Jake sorted out. He's going to pee, shower and eat and how's Eva? Eva's pretty good, actually she's still hungry so I'm gonna get her to have something proper And Austin, he's fine. So I might get him to have a little nap. I'm thinking we're going to go out about, oh, I don't know, maybe eight or nine. Verity's still sleeping, so that's good. So really, once Jake's ready, I guess we'll be ready to go. Ricky Gomez would like to come over and hang out. Is that okay? Yeah, sure. Of course you can. We're going out, but you're welcome to come over. <laughs> no one else is here to really greet you. He was bored. We're going to a club. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Where's Ricky then? There he is. I can never click on Sims. Like they, I never get them. Um, so she's going to invite him in. Yeah, so the reason I had a crappy day today was I spent hours and hours and hours collecting data for my experiment, um, for my PhD project, and oh, I downloaded it and the file was completely corrupted. So I went to IT department at the university, they couldn't do anything about it, so I've got to spend my weekend recollecting that data. So I'm going to do half of it tomorrow and half of it on Sunday, so at least I get a bit of an afternoon. But I had other plans this weekend, and it's kind of annoyed me. I think it's karma. You have a you have a long weekend off or whatever and um then you make up for it by more work later on in the week. Oh this is one of Jake's outfits I set in the last part. Um so I think it looks really cool. I think it suits him. I like the open shirt. Ricky, are you going to come and join us and watch TV? No? Are you just wandering off? Okay. So, I think we're pretty much ready to go. We've just got to wait for Jake to finish his food. Ricky, you've got a beautiful girl in the house who's interested in you, and you sit and talk to Jake. Right, I think we're going to head out. So... Oh, okay, let's go. Uh, accept and select sims to travel with. We're going to ladies' night. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> okay, so we're at ladies' night, even though <laughs> the majority of our party are boys. Actually, no, the majority of our party are girls. That's a complete lie. So we're going to get Verity to invite Corey. Oh, we'll get Cassidy to come along as well. That's her friend. Um, Eva, you need to change and look really hot. <laughs> so she's going to change into her party number five. I don't know what it is. Oh, we've seen this one before. Um, change outfit, party number three. I don't know. Oh, we've seen that one before. <sighs> Oh man, come on Eva. Oh, 
Oh well, this one will do. I like this one. Um, so what should we do? Let's um, get Eva to dance. Oh, turn on. What should we listen to? I'm going to find out what bar Baroque or Baroque is, whatever that is. Verity, did you call your friends? Oops, wrong sim. Oh, good, they're here. Awesome. So, let's get her to come and dance. Everybody's here. Whoa, what is she doing? <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <laughs> okay, what are we going to do then, guys? Um, Let's get... Verity's group to dance. <laughs> Eva's going to talk to Ricky. She's going to talk about the latest party, do an impression. Bright and day. She's going to flirt with him. And Austin, I think you should talk to your mum. Have a little chat with Melissa. Oh, Austin's having a little chat with his mum. Give her a heartfelt compliment. Verity's having a little dance, so she can chat to um. Don't go, Corey. No, this Co Corey. <laughs> he's always like just wandering off. Like he's very aloof. Why is he need cheering up? Is he okay? Where's Verity going? She's just off. She's like, nope, you shall not pass. <laughs> What's wrong with him? Don't be sad. Aww. Girl, you're totally um, getting in the way of something going on here, so I think you should leave. So they're doing that. What's Austin doing now? I really want Eva to get with Ricky, but he's he's hard work. Where has he gone? Has he left? No, he's not. He's dancing. That's good. So let's get them to dance together. Austin, have a little chat with your mum. Share a little secret with her. I hope you guys can see this because it's quite dark over here. I think he might be too tired to woohoo because it's not coming up with the option. Oh no it is, mess around in bush. Oh did Ricky, <sighs> Ricky's so hard to keep pinned down. Where has he gone now? There he is. We tell him an unbelievable story and the first kiss has popped up, yes.
<laughs> Where's Jake? Did he go home? Jake, come here. Oh, yay. Oh dear, some business is going on down here. <laughs> Alright, we should probably let Corey go home because he's so tired. <laughs> Bless him. And let's get Eva to order some food. So she's going to order some... Let's get chips because they're free. Oh, let's do a suave kiss. God, the bar is so full tonight. These two are wearing fairly similar tops. <laughs> Aww. These two are such a cute couple. I love them so much. How's Eva getting on with Ricky? Show off our muscles. I don't think we really have any muscles, but we will anyway. How's their relationship? Oh, the romance is going up slowly. Gosh, why are they so difficult? How can we invite him to stay the night when he lives with us? Oh my god, right in the middle of the bar. <laughs> Rarity's a bit tired. Let's order something for the group. Let's, let's order Tang and Zing. Oh, Eva, she needs the toilet. And she's going to order some bar food, I think. She can order um, pita and hummus. <laughs> Boys are getting busy. Don't come over here, girl. There's something going on. <laughs> you may not want to uh, witness it. Oh, they are. They're just going to watch. <laughs> Right, I might send the boys home now that they've woohooed. Hey, you're not in the group. 
How dare you take a drink? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to send the boys home. Oh, they're coming for a drink first. Well, it was thirsty work. Let's cancel that. Don't be stuck. Oops, what happened there? Oh, I think he was a bit stuck there. Freshie's enjoying her drink. I think that looks really tasty, that hummus. I think Verity's going to go to the toilet and then she should probably have to go home because she's really tired. Why? <sighs> Why can't she get up from the bar? Oh dear. She's stuck here forever. Right, I think everyone's going to have to go home now. Because it's 4am in the morning. <laughs> Verity's stuck. She's just boozing away. Um, I think we'll... We'll switch to... Um, one of the boys and then hopefully Verity will come home. Okay, that's good. Verity's unstuck now. Um, so how's everyone doing? Well, Eva's exhausted. So let's send her straight to bed. The boys aren't too bad. I'm going to let Austin um, go to the bathroom and take a shower. Jake's really not bad at all. He can... Um, he can use the bathroom and then we will get him to carry on writing his book oh is he finished oh, okay he's gonna write a short story did he finish his other book then oh that's money bags in Paris can we publish it let's get him to do that Oh, no, we don't want to write children's book. We want to write a short story. And then we have poor old Verity, who's really not in a good way. So she's going to use the bathroom. I think she's going to take a bubble bath and then go to sleep. Oh, look at them all tired from their night out. Pretty much stayed out most of the night. Um, money bags on the run. <laughs> what did he do? I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, Eva's fine. Jake's going to go to bed. Oh, oh, sorry, Austin's going to go to bed and Verity is in the bubbly bath having a nice soak. Ooh, I can't see. Hopefully this relaxes her a little bit. How's she feeling? Smooth sipping from drink. <laughs> Hot and heavy. Titillating banter. Cheerful decor. Completely satisfied from spectacular woohooing. New best friend and nicely decorated. First kiss. Yeah, I don't know what to do about Ricky. He just seems a bit disinterested. <laughs> it's very hard work getting him and uh, Eva together. Uh. 
<laughs> He's feeling confident about his book. <laughs> his source of inspiration here, Moneybags. Who looks a bit bug-eyed. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Oh, keep going through the walls. Let's put them down. Okay, um, let's fast forward a little bit until somebody wakes up from upstairs. Jake's just going to carry on with his book. And she's nearly at her next skill level, so that's good. Oh, he'll be at level four. That's really good. Good job, Jake. And then we might get him to do a bit of programming, I think. Actually, no, we leave that to Austin. He probably should go to sleep for a little bit, because we don't want him to become completely nocturnal. Um, he's about halfway on his book, so we'll let him stop and go to sleep. I know he's not really tired, but I just don't want him to get too out of routine. So I assume nobody has to work on a Saturday, but you never know. Nope. 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 Oh, dear. We've got 24 hours to pay our bills. I think we need to start thinking about selling some stuff because we've got about eight grand, but that's not enough. So, hmm. Let's just turn all the lights on. Let me see a bit better. What should we sell? We could sell the photography studio. How much is that worth? Oh, it's only worth £640. Well, we might as well keep it for that much. Uh, how much is this worth? 1,000, it's not a lot. Ooh, the DJ booth, booth's worth quite a lot. Hmm, I want to sell something of really high value. We could sell this computer and get a cheap one. Yeah, it's worth 8,000 pounds. I think it's going to have to go. So let's take a photo of it. Just so I know which one we got. So that's going to go. But we will buy a cheap one just to replace it because I think it's useful having two computers. Um, what else is high value? Which is this mirror worth? Nope. Hey, what happened there? Um, the cooker's worth a lot. We could get a cheaper cooker. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. I have a folder um, with all these pictures in so I can remember which ones there are that I've taken. Go with this one. What else can we sell? What about the piano? Oh, that's worth 2,000. Let's sell that then. Oops, I didn't take a picture. Oh, actually, is there anything outside? It's worth nearly 2,000. And we do still have a bar downstairs, so we don't really need this. So I think we're going to sell this and we're going to sell um, the piano, unfortunately. And that should hopefully be enough. Oh, I don't think it is. Um... Let's sell the barbecue because our sims aren't really going to barbecue because we get the caterer in really. 
So let's um, sell the barbecue. Right, we've got enough now, so I'm going to get Eva to pay the bills. She's awake. And then she's going to have to... She's had a night off, she's going to have to get down to some painting. Okay, the bills are paid and we got less than a thousand simoleons, so ooh, that's painful. But I'm confident that we'll start getting promotions and things and start earning some more money. So basically we want to get to the stage where Eva is painting masterpieces and we're making loads of money that way. And we want to get to the stage where um Everyone else is sort of getting high up in their careers and um, we're getting money through programming and all that sort of stuff. So I'm quite confident, like I think this is going to be the hardest part of the challenge right now, like when they're not doing very well at work and they're only bringing home a couple of hundred simoleons, not even that in some instances. Um, I think this is the, the most challenging part of the... Um, challenge <laughs> the most challenging part of the challenge that doesn't really make sense but you know what I mean um, and then I think it, things will start getting easier and it will just just be a case of building up enough money um, to pay bills and buy back all the stuff that we've had to sell um, uh, yeah I don't really know if this challenge is completely doable yet because obviously it's completely new and um, this is really just a test but we're going to move in Verity's going to age up at some point and get a job and we're going to move in sort of a boyfriend for Eva and um, probably we'll move Corey in as well if they're still together so we'll have six sims earning money and bringing cash into the household and doing sort of hobbies and things so I'm really confident that we will be able to complete the challenge but I'm really enjoying it so far and um I think it's something a little bit different and um, I hope you guys are enjoying my sort of let's play of it. Um, if you've got any comments or suggestions please let me know because it's always really good to hear your thoughts and um, I'm probably going to end this part here so I will see you in the next part. Please like, comment and subscribe. That would be really good and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye!